The happiest sad song is a is a duet with a, a friend of mine, a great singer songwriter that simply goes by the name Zach, uh, and he he writes sort of characteristically, purposely positive, upbeat, like kinetic f- folk funk pop that uh, you should really check out if you uh, if you've never heard. Um, and then you know I do what I do, which is a little bit. L- less purposefully or obviously positive, I guess you could say. And uh, nonetheless, we, we share a lot of supporters, and they, some of them conspire that we should write a song together, the uh, rationale being that he writes such happy songs and I write such sad songs that together, you know, we could combine to write what they call the normal song. Once we came up with the idea of a happy, a sad song, um, it w- w- was fairly, fairly quick that we, we came through some stuff. And it's interesting, too, because... Not only does David write sadder stuff and I write happy stuff, but I also tend to write very fast. Like I tend to pound song out in like an hour, and if it's not done in an hour, like I throw it away. And David likes to to brood over a song for like a year and a half before it like is presented. So it was interesting. We're having those two um, uh, work ethics together. My songs definitely tend to be sort of therapeutic for me and about um, very specific sort of topics and struggles. And so it kind of takes a lot out of me to write them, and if I've written about something, I don't want to write about it in the same way again. So I have, you know, maybe 20, 30 songs, and Zach has literally hundreds of songs, and um, is very prolific and very proficient in that uh, craft. And so sitting down with him, I was very... uh, I just felt um, I didn't know where to start. And, And, you know, as... He is in his songwriting in live. Zach is a very positive uh, and encouraging person, and he just said, "You know, relax, man. This can be fantastic. It's gonna be the happiest sad song ever." <laughs> and uh, I was like, <laughs> "Light bulb!" And so I wrote down that title because I didn't know where else to begin, <laughs> and then um, that became the song. We, we pounded out quite a lot of the song pretty early on, and then David went back and edited some and then I helped edit a little bit and the process went on for a little bit but it was I thought it was pretty easy once we got going. It is very much a kind of a combination of um, you know characterizations of our two personalities and uh, we had a lot of fun recording it. For me I, I tend to think of it as like the girl is mine that Michael Jackson uh, Paul McCartney duet <laughs> so the one part we left out is like that sort of spoken back and forth you know you know, oh, Michael, I've heard it all before. <laughs> She's like, oh, she said after loving me, she couldn't love another. <laughs> you know, all that. <laughs> so, that's, uh, yeah, that's the happiest sad song. I'm just trying to add a happy song to all I've written for you. And I'm just trying to sing a happy song. This is the best I can do I guess the happiest sad song The happiest sad song Is gonna have to Do